Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na liya ang inyong math body para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa inverse of 1 to 1 function. Pero bago ko simulan ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. O, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, so ano ba muna ang inverse of function? The inverse function of, uh, the inverse of a function is a function with domain B and range A given that the original function has domain A and range B. So, nagkakabaliktad yung kanilang domain and range. Kaya nga siya inverse. So, this inverse, inverse function of a function is denoted as this one. Yung f na may negative 1. It means inverse function yung pinag-uusapan natin. Ha? It is defined by the equation the inverse of y is equal to x if and only if f of x is equal to y for any y in range b. Now, since both are functions, then the function has to be 1 to 1. So, magiging function lang siya, or dahil nga sinabing function siya, required da dapat 1 to 1 for its inverse to be a function at the same time. Para yung inverse niya ay function din. Now, if it is many to 1 function, its inverse is 1 to many, which is not a function pag ganun yung nangyari. Okay? So, dapat 1 to 1 tayo. Now, dito sa una yung activity, we're going to de determine if the given function is linear, that's LF. Ibig sabihin, ang degree niya ay 1. And then, quadratic function, quadratic function, ito, linear function, Pag quadratic, ang degree niya naman ay 2. Or, rational function. O, oh, ito, katatapos lang natin i-discuss, ha? Yung meron tayong uh, denominator. Uh, meron tayong x dun sa denominator. Or, pa-fraction form siya. And, identify mo kung 1 to 1 siya or many to 1. Okay, so we have here f of x is equal to 3x plus 4. So, dahil ito, ang degree niya ay 1, linear siya. So, this is LF. So, pag linear, yung isang value ng x, isang y lang din yung katumbas niya. So, this is 1, 2, 1. Okay, now for the second one, g of x is equal to 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. So, this is quadratic. Oh, QF na lang ilagay natin. So, pag quadratic, hindi ito 1 to 1, ha? Hindi siya 1 to 1. Ito ay uh, many to 1. Dalawa. Many to 1 lang ba yung nakalagay doon? Wait. Tama. Ang magiging inverse niya ay many to 1. Kasi nakakakuha na tayo ng dalawang y dito. Eh. Kaya nga squared siya. So, many to 1. And then, h of x is equal to x minus 2 squared minus 1 over 3. So, dahil ito ay naka-square ulit, ibig sabihin, quadratic function ulit siya. So, many to 1 pa rin ito. And then, g of x is equal to x. So, parang y is equal to x lang yan. Linear pa rin yan kasi ang degree ng x natin ay 1. And then, this is 1 to 1. Okay, now let's try to solve uh, inverse function. So, let's try to solve na ha. So, we have your f of x is equal to x plus 4. So, yung f of x natin will be y. Okay, y is equal to x plus 4. So, we are going to interchange y and x. So, yung y magiging x, yung x magiging y. So, having that, you will have your x is equal to 
y plus 4. Nagkabalik tayo na sila. And then, we will solve for y in terms of x. So, para mangyari yun, ilipat natin si 4 dito. You will have here x minus 4 equals y. So, yung y mo is equal to x minus 4. Now, the inverse of this function will be equal to x minus 4. Okay. So, ganun lang kadali mga anak. Okay, for the g of x naman equals to 15x minus 4. So, this is y is equal to 15x minus 4. First step, interchange x and y. So, si y magiging x, si x magiging y. So, magiging x is equal to 15y minus 4. Now, let's solve for y in terms of x. Para mangyari yun, ilipat si 4 dito. So, x from negative, magiging positive 4 equals to 15y na lang yun nandito. And then, dahil sinasolve natin si y, i-divide natin siya by 15, divided by 15, cancel to, cancel to. So, you will have here y is equal to x plus 4 over 15. Therefore, the inverse of the function will be g of x is equal to x plus 4 over 15. Yan na yun. Okay, now for number 3, we have h of x is equal to negative x over 5. So, this will become y is equal to negative x over 5. So, we have to interchange x and y ha. So, si y magiging x na ngayon equals to negative si x magiging y naman siya over 5. Okay, to solve for this, eto ay over 1, cross multiply tayo ha. 5 times x, o oh, dito ko na ilalagay ha, is 5x is equal to negative y. Divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1. So, cancel na to. Your y will be, what is 5 divided by negative 1? So, that will be negative 5x. Meaning to say, to say, your inverse function will be h of x. Or the inverse of the function is equal to negative 5x. Okay. For number 4, we have f of x is equal to y. So, y is equal to x. So, we interchange x is equal to y. And then, siya na yun. Diba? So, ang inverse nito ay, kasi kung isasolve natin si y, y is equal to x pa rin siya. So, siya pa rin. So, the inverse of uh, this function is equal to x pa rin. Okay? Kasi identity sila, kaya yun pa rin naman yung magiging answer. Now, let's go to number 5. We have here f of x is equal to 5x plus 7 over 10. So, you will have here 5 is equal to 5x plus 7 over 10. So, we interchange x and y. So, you will have x is equal to so magiging x na ito, magiging y. 5y plus 7 over 10. Okay? So, over 1 to, ha? Kasi, whole number to. Or whole, isipin mo, na sa fraction, whole number yung x. So, ang denominator niya, 1. O, cross multiply mo lang siya. So, you will have your 10. x is equal to, what's this? 5y plus 7. Uh, we'll solve for y. Lipat dun si 7. So, magiging 10x minus 7 equals to 5y. Okay, divide by 5, para y na lang siya. So, y is equal to 10x minus 7 over 5. So, the inverse is 10x minus 7 over 5. Okay, now for the next activity, activity 12.2. Ayan, so ito mga madadali lang to ha. So, f of x is magiging y. So, y is equal to 35x minus 23. And then, interchange x and y. So, x is equal to 35x minus 23. And then, solve for y. Lipat lang to. Magiging x plus 23 na siya. Kasi negative, magiging positive. Equals to 35y. Para maging y lang siya, divide by 35, divide by 35, cancel. So, y is equal to x plus 23 over 35. Meaning to say, the inverse is uh -huh, x plus 23 over 35. 
Okay, for this one, g of x, so y is equal to 15x minus 2 over 9. Interchange x and y, so magiging x is equal to 15y minus 2 over 9. So, over 1 to, nilalagyan ko ng over 1 mga anak pa ganito para hindi kayo ma-intimidate ha. So, x times 9 is 9x equals 2, kasi pag minultiply mo to by 1, siya pa rin naman siya. 15y minus 2. Okay, dahil isasolve natin si y, lipat si 2, 9x plus 2 equals 15y. And then, divide both sides by 15 para maging y na lang siya. So, y is equal to 9x plus 2 over 15. Kaya lang, ang final answer natin will be this one. 9x plus 2 over 15. Okay, ay, g pala, hindi f. Ayan, G siya. Nasasanay tayo kay F. Okay, how about this one? O, oh, teka, ibaba natin ha. Kailangan natin ng space dito. May dalawa tayong fraction. So, paano gagawin natin dito? We have here Y is equal to negative 8X over 3 minus 1 over 4. Interchange natin yung X and Y. So, X is equal to negative... 8y over 3 minus 1 over 4. So, kailangan masolve natin si y. Okay? Para masolve yan, kailangan mawala yung mga denominator natin. So, anong LCD ng 3 and 4? Natatandaan to sa rational, we have 12. So, ito ay 12, ito ay 12. 12 times x is 12x equals 2. So, 12 times 8, 12 times 8 is 16, get it, 8. 96 divided by 3, 96 divided by 3 is 332. So, this is negative 32y minus 12 times 1 is 12 divided by 4 is 3. Okay, and then, kailangan si y lang maiwan dito. So, lipat si 3. Magiging 12x plus 3 na siya equals to negative 32y. So, dahil kailangan lang natin si y divide by negative 32. Negative 32, cancel to. So, your y will be equal to negative 12x plus 3 over 32. Or, we have here the inverse function is 12x plus 3, negative yan ah, over 32. Okay, for number 4, oh, we have the 9th root. Ito meron ha, kasi 9 siya. Yung mga, yung mga 3, yung mga e odd numbers, meron siya, mga anak ha. So, this one is y is equal to x raised to 9. And then, interchange, so magiging x is equal to y raised to 9. Para maging y lang yan, 9th root siya. Cancel, cancel. So, this is 9. 9. Ulitin ko nga. Ulitin, 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 ha? Okay. So, interchange natin. Magiging Y. <laughs> I-interchange nga. Tapos, Y pa rin. Interchange natin. Yung Y magiging X. Yung X magiging Y. Raised to 9. Para maging Y lang to, kunin yung 9. Dapat may 9th dyan. And then, 9th din to. So, cancel, cancel. So, y is equal to the 9th root of our x. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, you will have here f. O, inverse of f, of f of x is equal to the 9th root of x. For number 5, we have f of a is equal to a cubed plus 27. So, this will become y. So, y is equal to a raised to 3 plus 27. Ngayon, ang i-interchange natin yung a saka yung y, ha? So, you will have your a is equal to y raised to 3 plus 27. Okay? Para maging y lang yung natitira dito, lipat si 27. So, a minus 27 is equal to y raised to 3. Para maging y lang to, kunin natin yung cube root, ha? Cube root. So, cancel to cancel to. So, y is equal to the cube root of a minus 27. So, palitan na natin yung y magiging f of, uh, the inverse of f of a is equal to the cube root of a minus 27. Okay, for number 6. Okay, dahil squared to, wala tayong makukuha ha. 
the inverse does not exist. Hindi siya nag-exist sa mga quadratic. Okay? And then, dahil ito din magiging quadratic pag minultiply natin, di ba b squared yan? So, the inverse does not exist. Okay, for, for number 3, we have g of x is equal to 3x plus 19 over 2x plus 1. So, magiging y is equal to 3x plus 19 over 2x plus 1. And then, interchange x and y. So, x is equal to 3y plus 19 over 2y plus 1. So, over 1 to cross multiply, you will have x times 2y plus 1. Ito yung mumultiply ninyo. And del 1 lang naman to, di 3y plus 19 lang dyan. And then, distribute 2xy plus x equals to 3y plus 19. Dahil y ang sinasolve natin, ito lipat dito, ito lipat doon. So, you will have 2xy minus 3y equals to yung x magiging negative x din yan plus 19. And then, i-factor out si y. Ang matitira na lang dito ay si 2x kasi matatanggal na siya. And then, dito is negative 3 kasi tanggal na rin si y. Equals to negative x plus 19. So, dahil si y lang ang kailangan, divide by 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3. Okay? So, your y is equals to negative x plus 19 over 2x minus 3. Palitan si y. Anong gamit natin? G. So, we have G. Oh, the inverse of the function is negative x plus 19 over 2x minus 3. Okay? Now, for number 9, dahil ito ay square root, di ba pag, pag iniisip nyo, square root lang 4, anong sagot doon? Dalawa, di ba? It's either negative 2, or we have negative 2 and positive 2. So, ito, wala siya ha. Uh, the inverse does not exist. Okay, mga anak ko, yung number 10 ay kapareho lang naman ng number 9. So, sundin nyo na lang yung procedure natin dyan. Ay, nung number 8 para masagutan itong number 10. Ngayon ko, natulungan ko kayo sa video na ito para masagutan ninyo ang inyong mga learning module. Please i-comment yan sa ating comment section, ha? Mga anak, ang mga comments ninyo ay mahalaga para maapit ang video na ito at makita rin naman siya ng iba. Kaya, please, sa lahat ng video ni Teacher Maria ay mag-comment kayo. And please, pakishare agad sa mga classmates ninyo kasi para meron naman din silang agad na guide at magawa na nila ito. Okay? And don't forget to visit me on my Facebook page sa Love Ma TV. Sige na naman mga anak, pa-follow na. At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of Ma. Thank you and bye!